something I can't control. Hey folks, how are you all doing? This is Supercharged Petrol Hat. Today's video is gonna be about the top 5 cheapest sports cars that you could buy in India. So when I say cheapest, don't expect something around 10 or 20 lakhs because this list is about the brand new cars that you could walk into a showroom and buy it. It is not about used cars. But I will make a video on cheapest used sports cars in the future. So stay tuned. So without boring you guys, let me get straight to the video. So the number 5 spot in the list goes to Audi's TP. Wait, how do you say that? Audi or Audi? Hmm, whatever. So the Audi TT is the small two-door, two-seater sports car that Audi sells in our market. It has a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine producing 230 horsepower and 370 Nm of torque. It is mated to 6-speed automatic transmission. But don't let the horsepower number and the smaller displacement of the engine fool you because this car does 0 to 100 in about 5.8 seconds which is absolutely insane for a car which has less than 250 horsepower but it is possible due to Audi's incredibly brilliant quattro all-wheel drive system which is arguably one of the best all-wheel drive system in the market but coming back to this car it could reach top speed of about 250 km per hour and it costs only 60 lakh rupees each showroom which makes it the cheapest car in this list and if there is one thing that I don't like about this car it has to be that the Audi India doesn't offer their legendary 5 cylinder engine of Audi TT in India which is quite sad now the number 4 spot in the list goes to BMW's Z4 or Z4 whatever you want to call it it has the BMW's famous 3 liter straight 6 engine producing around 306 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque it is mated to a 7 speed automatic this engine propels the z4 from 0 to 100 in about 6.1 seconds and will take it to the top speed of about 250 km per hour it is a rear wheel drive car so it will be a great car for all the hooligans out there this is not a new car, it has been around for a while, so don't expect modern futures and modern interiors like new BMWs like 5 series or 7 series. But it is still a true BMW. It is a roadster, so you should hold on to your wig when doing high speeds with top down. It costs around 68 lakh rupees a showroom, which makes it a great car for the money. And also, if you buy a Z4, BMW offers a special free course on how to use your turn signals. So, it is a win-win. The number 3 in the list is Mercedes-Benz SLC 43 AMG. Now, I understand most of the Mercedes naming nomenclature, but I couldn't get my head around the fact that the A45 has a 2-liter 4-cylinder, but the SLC 43 has a 3-liter V6. And if there are any internet experts, watching this please explain me this in the comments below but coming back to this car as i said earlier it has a 3 liter v6 producing 367 horsepower and 520 newton meters of torque it is the second most powerful car in this list the engine is mated to their new 9 speed automatic it helps the car reach from 0 to 100 in about 5.1 seconds and the car will keep going until it hits the limiter at 250 km per hour. Now this is not a new car as well, but a recent facelift has kept it relevant. It is a convertible and it is a direct rival to BMW Z4. So if your neighbor has a Z4, you can get the SLC 43 AMG and show him the modern sat nav in your car and piss him off. And it costs around 69 lakh ex showroom to buy. So it is on par with Z4 in terms of price and performance as well. The number 2 in the list is Porsche's 718 Cayman and 718 Boxster. Both are the same cars, one is a coupe and one is a convertible, so you can get one based on your preference. Now the new gen Cayman and the Boxster has a turbocharged 2 liter flat 4 engine producing 300 horsepower and 380 Nm of torque. It is mated to the insanely brilliant Porsche's 7 speed PDK transmission. It is a rear wheel drive 
and it does 0 to 100 in around 4.9 seconds. And if you know anything about Porsche, you know that number would be conservative. Porsche is the master of sports cars because they know how to make a car utilize its available horsepower fully. And also I could say that this is the best handling car in this list. If you want a sports car which handles the best, this is the car for you. My only gripe is that it does not sound as cool as the previous gen flat 6, but at least it is better than the inline 4 I guess. It costs 80 lakh rupees ex showroom which makes it the expensive car in this list and also keep some cash in hand cause Porsche will make you pay because even the most basic futures that you have as standard in a Suzuki Swift will be an option in the Porsche. And now for the number one car in the list and if you have made it this far into the video I applaud you for dealing with my annoyingness for this long so you deserve a pat in the back. So the number one cheapest sports car in India is Ford Mustang GT. Yeah, yeah, I know it is technically not a sports car. It is more of a muscle slash pony car. But hey, this is my list and I'm going to put it in the number one spot. Now, the Mustang GT is the most anticipated sports car in India. And it was launched for the first time in India a couple of years back. And since then Ford has sold many number of Mustangs because it has a 5 liter Coyote V8 engine producing 401 horsepower and 550 Nm of torque. It is made at a 6 speed automatic transmission. We don't get the manual transmission in India which sucks and also we don't get the 2.3 liter EcoBoost but no one cares about that engine so it is not a big deal. The Mustang GT does 0 to 100 km per hour in around 4 seconds which is really good and it is the best performer for its price. It has a top speed which is limited to 250 km per hour and the current gen has an independent rear suspension which has improved its handling and performance and it is an American icon. It is the car that comes to the mind of most people when you say a muscle car. It is a legend and people love it but more than that I would say Mustang loves people more than they do. That's why. If a Mustang sees a group of people, it would go straight into the group. But jokes apart, the Mustang GT is the best sports car that you could now buy in India. Moreover, the Mustang costs only around 65 lakh ex showroom, which makes it only slightly more expensive than the Audi TT and it makes it the second most cheapest car in this list. It has got the looks, it has got the performance, it has got the sound. It has got the legacy. So what do you want more than that? So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did while making it. So I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay awesome. And this is Supercharged Petrolhead over and out.